Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can update data in Firebase and Vue.js. Uh, we are just two videos away from working on our e-commerce website. So in this video, I will show you the update and the next video, I will show you how you can listen to real-time database changes and update your data here. That is something very important. Of course, we will use some tools to do that in the future videos, but for now, you have to understand how it is going to work in Firebase. So let's start working on the edit. For now, if you click on the edit, nothing is going to happen. So for the edit, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say if someone click on the edit, it should open a model window and we should be able to update data uh, for the product here. So how you do that one? First of all, let's come to our code. Here is the edit button here. I will just join an click event, let's say, at click, and it is going to say edit product this is going to call the function so we have to write our function all the way down there and what this function should do first of all it should fire a model window it should pop up a model window and next up it should fill the data which we have here uh, for our uh, for our application so how you do that one first of all you have to send the data here which data you want to send the product if you are writing this product it is inside the loop you can see here so it is going to be different for every product you have so for now we will save the changes and let's see if we can bring a model window i will use bootstrap for model window which we have here it work just fine for us for now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this line of code from here and coming to our application all the way down there make sure you do not do go after the last div because every component must have a base uh, okay a base element which is our div so for now it is fine and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this and say we are going to have an edit model window here so the ID is edit how you trigger the edit you, you can use JavaScript for now I will just change the title here and we say edit product very simple and for the form of course we will have the we will have to have the data of the form here which form we want to display here i will copy this form which is the product name and the product price i will put that in the body of the model window here for now and we do need the hr and the save button here because we have a save button here and we will use this one for now it is not doing anything but we have the form here so if we save it for now nothing is still goes to here uh, everything works just fine so let's see if someone click on this one for now it is not going to happen again so we should fire the model window first uh, if you come to bootstrap you can do that using javascript you can come to via javascript and here is how you do you select your model and you pass the model and inside this one you can pass the option the option can be show, hide, and other stuff. So here is the show, which example is this. So of course we can use jQuery to select the model window. So let's see how we are going to do that one. The ID is going to be edit, which we have for the model window here, edit. And it is going to display that. So for now, if I save it, let me indent a little bit. And let's see how it works. If I click on the edit, nothing work here. So let's see if we have compiled it successfully. Yeah. Sometimes it is stuck. You have to refresh again to compile your file again. So let's do it again. If you click on the edit, it show the model window, product name, product price, and what we want to do is we want to fill the data here. For example, if you click on the pen, it should fill the pen information there. How you do that one? Okay. Let's see. For now, we have uh, an object here called product. So whenever we pass the product to the edit function here, edit product, we have the product here, right? Okay, this is the product. Now what we can do is, we can say this dot product, which refer to the object we have here, and we are going to update the information we have here. So how you do that one? You can see this dot product and it is going to be equal to product dot doc 
right doc is going to be the document and we have to get the data for that one data is going to contain only the data for each product the data is price name and price so this is what we want for now if i save it let's see if it works we refresh the page and you click on the book yes it works just fine and if i come here you click on the pen it just populate the pen's information here for the watch again and this is going to do the same thing for our form here it fills the form here you can do the same thing here but the reason is because they are all using the same uh, mo v model here if you check out here is the v model which have the same name here that's why it is going to be connected to each, to each other so it works just fine for now and let's see how the update works like you click on the save changes it should update data to the database if you bring any changes so let's see how it works so for that one here is the function you have for save changes again you have to have and click even for this one oops and it is going to call the object product function and you can write the update function again here it does not matter the order of the function you put here the reason i do is at the top is because i just wanted to look clean from the top that's why i write it down here at the top so this is how it does it is not going to accept any parameter so what it is going to do is it is going to update the information of the current product so how you do that man for now if i come here okay refresh the page because the model window when you open the model window it is going to add something to the body of the element and that's why it should a dark view of it so you come to the product again okay you click on the edit now if you press on the save changes it should send the id or the identifier of the same product to our function and then we can update that so if you come to the database here here is our data for the product and every one of them has an id so we must have the id of that document to be able to update that one how you get the id so for now if you come to the documentation of firestore here here is in the firestore we are in the at section and on the content section if you check out we are in the update document so how you update the document is you get the document by the id you pass here and then you update it something like this so if i come all the way down there maybe they have better examples of this elements with array no so which example you can take this is the example you are going to use so i'll copy this one and we will customize it for ourselves for now if i come here okay i will paste it there i'm not oops i'm not going to retrieve it once and then update that again so we are we are not going to assign it to anywhere else so what we are going to do is we are going to not return it as well just put a dot remove this variable here and this is how it works it is going to say you have to pass the object here for now this is a capital true of course you are going to send the data of our product here so how you do that one uh, of course this is going to be products and here you have to pass the id it is going to update that document for you and if it was successful it will console.log and if you have any error it will show the error so for now you have to pass the data for that and it should have the id also so just think about this one if i come all the way down here if someone click on this one how it is going to send the id of that document so we don't have the id of the document so the best way to fix this issue is in your data model here just write an active item property here and the, the, ob the data is equal to null this time if i say someone click on the edit product i am going to update the data of the active item so that i should know which data is currently active and i will uh, assign the id here and based on the active item i can update my information so how you do that one here is when you fire the model and we pass the data here so 
to update the data of active item you can see this that active item is equal to product and product, product is of course the object and it has the id property here and if i save it for now it will have all the information we want for now if i come here again you should refresh your page because of the word sub model so let's see if it works this time and we have to debug it like i should i should go to in, in the view tab here opening the product component here and now in the data here we have the active item is equal to null which we know none of them are selected and everything else is just fine here so let's click on the pin we click on the pin yes all the data is updated here and this is the id for the pin so if i close it and click on the apple it update the data here also and you click on the watch now the active item has changed now based on the active item we can update our data so how you do that one here in a set of document you can see this dot active item simple like this and here for the update of course this is not the object you are going to send which object you are going to send this dot product not this plural the singular one this is the, the new data we have here so if i save it for now let's see if it works i will come to the database here here is our data for the book it is only book we will change the book name and the price again refresh your page so let's see if it works it is not a real-time database yet so we will work that on the next video if you click on the edit so we will say book this is new edition and this is going to be twenty dollars so we will click save changes we don't get any error in the console we have document successfully updated if you come to the data you have here in the firebase yes it has updated data here it means it works just fine you close it and yes it works just fine so before we finish we are going to do some more stuff let's say you are going to close the model window of course you can do that one and you can say hide and after it was successful it will hide the console here if you have any error you can show the error validation and stuff like that uh, the error mostly comes when your data is not valid or you are not authorized to do that one we will talk about that in the security section of our course so that's it for the update i hope it has been informative if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and in the next video i will do the real-time database we don't see any changes here when we do the changes so it should update automatically here so that is what we do in the next video